Hello everybody, how are you getting on? Sean Ferrick here from Trek Culture and I am here to talk about some rumours that have been flying around. Now, as everyone who watched the ups and downs for Lower Decks will know, I'm not in my usual amorphous blob of a space background because I'm actually many, many miles away from where I usually live. I am attending the 56 year mission at Star Trek Las Vegas. It has been so much fun, but I will get into that in a second because we're here to talk about some news. Now, we are here to discuss the news that has come out of the con. That news being that we might be seeing Tasha Yar in season three of Star Trek Picard. Denise Crosby spoke during a panel uh, now, very, very guarded, I might say as well, because if CBS is watching this, we all know what an NDA stands for. There was an allusion to the fact that, yes, we might see Tasha Yar in season three. Now, what does this mean? We can straight away say that it's not Sela. This was confirmed by Terry Metalis on Twitter previously, so this is fine. So, me being the cheeky bugger that I am, I walked over to Denise Crosby's desk. Hello, Denise, how are you? And she said, oh my God, who are you? Get away from me, weirdo. She did not say that at all. What she did say was that, understandably, she could not comment. Absolutely fine. We all know what an NDA stands for, so that's grand. So what I did then is instead I messaged Terry Metalis. And the very, very nice man was able to expand a tiny little bit. He, again, wanted to say, Sela is not coming back. This is not rumor control. Well, it is rumor control. There will be no Sela in season three of the card. He did, however, go a little bit further. He said, Tasha Yar will not be in season three, dot, 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 but you will see something. Now, as infuriatingly unhelpful as that is, that's actually massively helpful because there are so many ways in which a character can appear even if they're not there in person. This is Star Trek, there's a holodeck, we know this. So there's any number of ways that this could go. But to sum it up a little bit quickly, one, no Sela. There will be no Sela. Sela is not happening. If they have been playing me, if they have been playing me, this is gonna age like milk, but hopefully not. Two, although we won't get a return from the dead, if you like, of Tasha Yar, there will be an appearance in some form. Now, if this turns out to be a little quick headshot sitting on a desk, come on now. Man now. But hey, I'll just be glad to see her in any way. The other news coming out of the con is obviously little bits here and there, but something that might make Star Trek Voyager fans happy is that there is a rumor, a mention, possibly a trifle of an intrepid class starship making an appearance in season three of Picard. This was alluded to before on Twitter when it came to showing some quite intrepid style like, like, like the bio bed, for example, we know that there will be Starfleet ships in it, and there will be, if you watch our interview with production designer Dave Blass, there will be allusions to that post-Nemesis era of Starfleet. And we're talking a little bit back before what we saw with, for example, the USS Stargazer. So for the moment, treat this as we'll see how it goes, but it does look like we might, might be getting an intrepid class starship in season three of Picard. Now, so to recap what we actually know for sure about season three of Picard is that we know that everyone basically is back for season three of Picard from the TNG main cast. If it is true that Tasha Yar will feature in some way, then if we include the last episode of season two, that's all of the season one players will have featured in Star Trek Picard, which is wonderful, that's what we wanted. We also know that there's going to be an appearance in some form or another of a galaxy class starship. Now, again, we don't know, is it, are they, you know, saving the saucer section from the planet or whether it's an entirely new starship as yet to be seen. We just know that a galaxy class will feature. There was a reference of multiple enterprises that was made on Twitter. So what could this mean? Give us the F. And again, to confirm, it won't be Sela. I swear to God, if it ends up being Sela, I'm going to look so silly. Now, we know that season three, musically, is going to make a lot of references to our wonderful late composers, Jerry Goldsmith and James Horner. Now, I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but Jerry Goldsmith did the music for the motion picture, The Final Frontier, First Contact, Insurrection, and Nemesis. The man was a musical genius. James Horner, of course, did the music for Wrath of Khan and Search for Spock. They have both been, their themes have both been 
confirmed to be appearing in season three of Picard. New composer Stephen Barton, who will be taking over for Jeff Russo, has been saying on Twitter that he's been working with uh, the inventor of the blaster beam, actor Craig Huxley, this kid from When the Children Shall Lead. Now, the blaster beam was, of course, used to great effect in Star Trek The Motion Picture. It's that kind of, it was the Inception before we did the Inception. So, I mean, if they bring that back, I'm going to be absolutely delighted anyway, because I just love making the sound. What we also know as well is that there will be one overarching female villain in season three. Again, I'm going to say it till I'm even more red in the face than I am now. It's not Sela. But, as I alluded to in a previous video, actress Emily Hampshire, who you might know from 12 Monkeys and Shit's Creek, worked with Terry Metalis before. When Terry announced on Twitter that there would be a female villain and it would be someone who would be new to Star Trek, Emily Hampshire retweeted. That could mean something, that could mean nothing. But it definitely means something and it absolutely means that she's going to be the villain. No, we don't know yet, but we will have to see. It would make sense. They've worked together before and she's an absolutely brilliant actor. The other things going on this week, of course, there's so many panels. It's all been very, very wonderful and fun. There's been a beautiful panel that was filmed earlier on today where they were honouring Nichelle Nichols and, of course, her incredible, incredible legacy. There has been a lot of fun down at the Gaze in Space booth. There's been a lot of warmth and outpouring and so much support. So thank you, everyone, who has come along to the booth. Very, very much appreciated. Make sure we're here until Sunday. Make sure you drop down. And if you are up to date with your Trek culture watching, you will know that we released the ups and downs for Lower Decks Season 3, Episode 1, Grounded, just after the episode aired. Now, I was also filming that from this satiny, silky, curtained place, and I spoke about the importance of real cameos. Now, I was a little bit... I downed the cameos, but we won't get back into that, but I used a wonderful example. If you were to look at this photo here, which is our lovely image of Paulie Sutherland, one of my greatest, lovely friends in the world, I have never met this man. A picture of this does not count as a cameo. This counts as a cameo. That's a cameo. That's Paul. Look at him. He's real. Look at him. He's really real. Now get out to my video. So anyway, everyone, thank you so much, as always, for watching. You are wonderful. We will bring you news as it happens, when it happens. Remember, you got to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much to everyone who's done that already. What do you want to see in season three of Picard? Anything that has not yet been confirmed or anything that's just in your wildest fantasies, let us know in the comments below. You are all wonderful. You are all awesome. Make sure you live long and prosper until I see you again. Our friends in Ukraine, we love you. Stay strong. We are with you. Everyone, have a wonderful few days. Make it so.